Uh, they don't even bother counting. So let me ask you something. How do you feel about guns right now at this point in your life with a family and, and, and what's going on in your life? How do you feel about guns? This is the real problem with guns. The same problem with everything else. People are fucking stupid. There are a bunch of people that are fucking stupid. Now, if you had to ask me, do I think that everybody in this room, do I think that they are responsible enough to handle a firearm and own a firearm? Yes, absolutely. Everybody in this room is. I believe so. But is it everybody in the world? Fuck no. But who can decide? Well, that's the point of the whole law. The whole point of the law is you can't let some tyrannical dictator decide who can and can't be armed. Because at the end of the day, what we really have to worry about as much as crime is you have to worry about the government turning into crime. Because the governments of, of nations all over the world have fucked the people over and done shit that people don't want, imprisoned them, enslaved them. And, are we supposed to ignore that? Are we supposed to pretend we're past that? We're past that completely. People will never be like that again. An armed militia is in the possibility that it all goes wrong. That's what it's for. It's not, it's not for when everything's going right. It's for when it all goes wrong. To s deny the possibility that it could all go wrong, to me, you're lying. You're lying. You're pretending we're better than we are. Because you look all over the world, there's war everywhere. There's war everywhere in the world. There's murder everywhere in the world. There's robbery and thievery everywhere in the world. There's not equal. It's not equal with uh, the amount of chances people have. It's not equal the amount of uh, the time you do in jail if you get caught for things. There's all sorts of inequalities and all sorts of real fucking problems in the world. And to deny, to say that we've reached some utopian place where you don't have to worry about the government turning into a tyranny. Bullshit. No, I don't think it's, I don't think the government right now is a tyranny. I don't think they're controlling us. I don't think they're doing anything unbelievably oppressive. I think they respond to, in a certain extent, to the amount of pressure that people put on them. And when people say things like, we don't want to go into Syria. Remember that Syria thing? Or Obama's on TV, we we're like, fuck this! No one wants to go to Syria. They're like, what the, 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 he's back on the Syria. He's back on the Syria. At the end of the day, people that are used to going to war, like to go to war. They make a lot of fucking money doing it. And you have to be aware of that kind of shit. You gotta be aware of people f trying to force you into things. You gotta think about Kent State. Man, that was in our lifetime. You know? The, during the Vietnam War, they fucking shot kids that were protesting. They shot them on the college campus for doing nothing but protesting. That wasn't that long ago, man. It's not that long ago. I'm not advocating that there should be some fucking uprising and people should pull guns. But I'm, I am saying you can't just have one group of people running other groups of people with no recourse. With, with no, you, you, the, 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 the people don't have any ability to stop them. So the people in power, we just have to trust that they're going to be good. That's crazy. Why would you do that? They're just people. And people, if you give them too much power, they almost always fuck it. They almost always abuse the shit out of it. It's very rare that someone gets into a position of power and all of a sudden does wonderful, selfless things for the world. <laughs> Bullshit. They do weird things. They have weird fucking people that get paid off. They have subsidies for like oil and corn and greasy dealings with private prisons. Like, there's a lot of fucking weird shit going on in power. So to say that we're just, uh, oh, everything's going to be fine, we don't need guns. In, um, in England, we don't have guns and we're fine. You still have a queen. You, you're still in some weird fucking quasi-imperial state. The scariest thing, though, is like if you go on Facebook and you scroll through, there's video after video of people fighting. Like, that's the biggest thing now is world star and just people fighting. Yeah, well, that's it, always It scares been... me for all these people to have guns. Like, it, that's true, too. It's to, to be honest, like with all the road rage happening, like that guy a few months ago got pulled out of his car on like Hollywood Boulevard or something. I don't want a fucking gun to, um, to be on the offensive. I right. don't want a gun to be on the offensive. Right. I want a gun in case last night him and I were talking shit till 1230 at night on my side street. Three cops, three, uh, a guy kept circling. God, you know, after half hour, a cop came by because somebody actually called the power of the cops and said there's two guys standing out there. Oh. Just bullshit. But Look at you, you criminal-looking motherfucker. Nah, we're out there just telling stories <laughs> after the comedy story. Yeah, I know what it is. Know? Yeah. And uh, I, for a minute there, when that white car came around the second time, I thought, yeah, I thought I needed a gun. I don't know what people are thinking no more. You don't know what people are thinking. You could zig when you could have zagged, and you could run into someone who's out of their fucking mind. Out of their fucking minds, and you never know.
I mean, I'm not an advocate of being armed all the time. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you can't let the government tell you whether or not you can have a weapon. It's just not, it doesn't make sense. Well, for years I had the felony. I still have the felonies. And the government tells me I can't have a pistol. Now, my crime was with a pistol. All right, did it go off? No, but there was a potential for violence. There's always, always a potential for violence. In my heart and in my mind, I did a probationary period already. That was uh, 1987. I did a probationary period again, more than a probationary period. I feel in my heart right now, I'm capable of carrying a gun as much as I hate it. I fucking hate those things because I know what they bring. You know what I'm saying? I know what they bring to some people. They're not going to bring it to me because I'm not young and stupid anymore. Do you understand me? I really wanted to protect my daughter. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to... There's weird people doing every time you watch the news. Every time I watch the news and I see something stupid, what happened in Houston yesterday? You see that yesterday? No. So what happened? fucking soldier snapped. No. Four what fucking happened? tours in Afghanistan, and he got some fucking machine gun. He shot somebody at the gas station. There were so many fucking bullets that the gas station blew up in a suburb in Houston. Oh. The cops were in this. You got to see the cop cars. It was like heat. Remember those cars with the windshields and shit? So did nah. he get in a, a road rage with somebody? No, 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 no. He just went into a gas station, shot a customer, and from there, the party started. Walked down the street shooting. Uh, one dead, six injured, you know, shot up 30 fucking cars in the middle of the street. Oh I'm God. walking to a movie with my daughter. I'm minding my business. Mm. Lee, instead of fucking driving, let's walk to the taco place today. Right. That could happen. That could happen. I know this going in. When I leave my house every morning, I know this is possible. And that's the messed up part because he has a gun. He has the right to have a gun. But if someone else in Houston right had here, a gun, maybe they could have shot him. dead, six injured, randomly, just that whoever. You need that in your life? Now, See, I'm not a sharpshooter, but I could shoot him in the fucking leg. I believe in shooting him in the leg if I have a great cover. Yeah. I'm not looking to shoot the fucking guy like the cops are going to. I mean, you should have heard the tapes. It's crazy. Da, 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 da. And that's Texas, too, where everybody's armed. 